Do you remember the feeling of falling off the playground monkey bars? That can be a pretty painful moment in the life of a preschooler or kindergartner, even if it doesn't end in a cast or stitches. In Missouri, state lawmakers must have tucked away memories of a tough childhood spill or two, leaving the state to establish a scrap tire program. Offered to nonprofit groups throughout the state, The program was designed to replace asphalt, rocks, and other playground materials with soft rubber made from recycled tires. That smart use of recycled materials means less tires piled up in landfills and fewer injuries. Like many nonprofits, Trinity Lutheran Church of Columbia applied for the program, hoping to replace the pea gravel surface of its playground. Trinity Lutheran's ministry includes a child learning center, which is open to all members of the community for children ages 2 to kindergarten. About 90% of the children in the preschool don't attend Trinity Lutheran. Plus, children from the surrounding neighborhoods use the playground after school and on the weekends, making it a well-trafficked and well-loved neighborhood spot. Yet even though the church scored fifth out of 44 applications competing for 14 grants— government bureaucrats denied the grant to Trinity Lutheran. Why? Simply because the playground was owned by a church. The message of this decision was clear. Protecting kids from unnecessary bumps and bruises is a worthy goal, as long as those kids aren't at a religious school. If that sounds unfair, that's because it is. In fact, Banning religious nonprofits from a funding program that is available to all other nonprofits isn't just unfair, It's unconstitutional as well. Equal treatment of a religious organization isn't an endorsement by the government, but unequal treatment is unconstitutional and unfair. With the help of Alliance Defending Freedom, Trinity Lutheran filed a lawsuit and the case made it all the way to the Supreme Court. In June 2017, the court ruled 7-2 in favor of Trinity Lutheran. The Supreme Court's decision affirms that states cannot single out religious groups for exclusion from programs they are otherwise eligible to participate in simply because they are religious. As Chief Justice Roberts wrote, no state can deny a qualified religious entity a public benefit solely because of its religious character. A child's injury hurts just as much on the playground of a religious school as it does on the playground of a secular school. Known as the playground case, Trinity Lutheran wasn't just a win for one single church, preschool, or even a community. It's a win for every American. Today, children from all over the community are playing on Trinity Lutheran's newly revamped playground. This may seem like a small victory, but the implications are wide-ranging and still playing out. In fact, the ruling sets a key precedent that will promote equal treatment for religious groups for years to come. In 2020, for example, the Supreme Court relied on Trinity Lutheran to decide a case called Espinoza versus Montana Department of Revenue. There, the court turned back the state's attempt to block parents and children from benefiting from an otherwise neutral tax credit program just because it might help families send their kids to a religious school. And in 2021, a federal appellate court has twice relied on these decisions to end long-standing discrimination in Vermont's education programs. The court ruled that state and local governments cannot keep students at the Catholic high schools out of tuition and dual credit class programs just because they choose to attend religious schools. This is America. We don't treat people of faith like second-class citizens here. Isn't it time for federal, state, and local governments to relearn that lesson once and for all?